Chris in Appleton, Wisconsin. You, uh, is there a pillar of communism that Tom disagrees with? Is that really your question? Yeah. I was just wondering if there is a pillar of communism you do disagree with. I don't know what the pillars of communism are. Do you? Yeah. Uh, there's one where it talks about a heavily progressive tax code. That's one of them. Centralization of education. That's another one. Uh, tax on inheritance. Like, you know, the inheritance tax that's coming. Hang on just a second, Chris. I've, I've read both the Communist Manifesto and Das Kapital. And, I mean, I, I'll give you, it's been 30, 40 years since I read them, but... Well, it's been 15 years since, maybe 10 years since I read the Communist Manifesto. I don't recall in either of those publications anything about the three things that you just mentioned. It's right there. It's the, the, the pillars, it's right there. Where? Which book, what page? I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the... I'm, I'm driving. I'm going to pull a book out. I'm on a headset right now. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah. Uh, so anyway, it's you know progressive taxation. Uh, progressive taxation is just rational. The more that you use in a society, the more you should pay in the society. If if you're making a lot of money, you're using our banking system, you're using our court system, you're using the infrastructure of this country more heavily than somebody who makes very little money. Well, should, yeah, shouldn't you pay for it? It would be don't you? No, not really. I think it should be a flat tax. I mean, oh, okay. So, Donald so Trump s- has to pay. Let's let's say I'm in taxes right now. I'm paying a lot more than that, but let's say I am, and Donald Trump is paying 15 percent in taxes. Right. No, no BS. You know, tax breaks or subsidies. I'd get rid of all that garbage right there. I'd go equal protection under the law, 14th Amendment. You're paying this tax regardless of what you made. You're just going to pay it. So, no rates, no so, so, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I get it. This is sort of a version on Reaganomics where he doubled the taxes on working people by doubling the payroll tax and cut by more than three quarters the taxes on people making over a million dollars a year. Uh, and you're down with well, they're, that. They're dodging the progressive tax code and all the loopholes are dodging that anyway. No, they're not. There's a, there's a reason why up until... No, there's a reason why from, from the 1930s to the 1980s CEOs only made 30 times what their workers make. There's a reason why. Because the tax code was actually there and was actually enforced. Now, I'll grant you that Reagan started drilling holes in the tax code like crazy, and he collapsed the top end of the tax code, and largely destroyed progressive taxation in the United States. And the consequence of that is that the rich have gotten mind-bogglingly rich, and poor people have gotten poorer and poorer. Chris, how much do you make? 75. 75? You're not paying 50% in taxes. No, I'm not. I said I'm paying more than fifteen percent. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, maybe maybe in in gross taxes. I mean, but you know, you're 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 middle income. I mean, you're you're middle class. It's the middle class in the United States is roughly anybody making more than forty and less than a hundred. Um, yeah. So if a flat tax were to go into effect, your taxes would go up in all probability. Mine would probably go down. No, because if the billionaires are not going to pay, you know, 39%, instead they're going to pay 16, 18, 17%, whatever. Last time I had Steve Moore on this show, he said 17% would be enough for everybody in the country. There's, then then that means that somebody working at McDonald's who's making $10,000 a year is going to pay $1,700 a year in taxes. And, and somebody who's making a uh, billion dollars a year is going to pay... You know, 170 million in taxes. It's it, it doesn't make sense right now, to right me. Right now, I'm paying 28 percent. So you can give me the 17. Yeah, it makes sense, Chris. That 28 percent is your federal income tax bracket, and I don't disagree that the federal income taxes being paid by people who make less than a hundred thousand dollars a year are too high. I agree with you on that. The reason, however, they're too high is twofold. Number one. Before Reagan's tax changes, people making the equivalent of seventy-five thousand dollars today, which is basically what you know my dad was making in a tool and die shop. He used to make twenty-five, thirty thousand back in the sixties and seventies. That would be seventy thousand dollars today. They were pay- he paid very little in income taxes, but uh, the the uh, a I mean before Reagan came into office, you had or did, you know just to pick an arbitrary point in the mid nineteen fifties, fifty six. I think we we did all this. We pulled out all the statistics here a couple of months ago and pulled all this stuff out. Corporations accounted for one third of the federal income tax 
receipts. A third of all the federal, all the money going to the federal government through taxes was coming out of corporations in the United States. All now right. now yeah. it is 7%. So those corporations are making more money uh. than they ever made before. They are seriously, their, their profits are through the roof, and their taxes have gone down. So the federal government had to but. find money somewhere else. Then Reagan said, now we're going to cut the top tax on people making more than a million dollars a year from 74% down to 28%. And then that produced a massive hole in the federal budget. And so they said, okay, we've got to get the taxes someplace else. And so they started jacking up the tax rates on people making anywhere from thirty to $100,000 a year. And people making between sixty dollars and $200,000 a year actually bore the brunt of that. They're the people who got the biggest increases in their tax rates over the last 40 years. And, and, yeah, but I got a question about that. And though. they shouldn't. Go for well, it. I got a question about that. Like... The top ten percent right now pays just about it's like sixty to seventy percent of the federal income tax that are collected. The top ten percent, you know, that's not just billionaires. That's anyone that makes more than one hundred and fifty and up. They pay. Right. They they earn over ninety percent of all the income in the United States, and they pay about fifty or sixty percent of the taxes. Right. They only have seventeen percent of the total. GDP of the country, and they're paying almost 70% of the Wait a minute, country. they have 17% of the GDP? What does that have to do with anything? Like, well, they, everyone says, oh, they have all the money, they have all the money. No, they that don't. Top 10%, that top 10%... They have all the income. GDP and income are two completely different things. They GDP only have 17% of what claiming they have more of. They only have 17... I don't know, the top 10% only has 17% of what you're trying to tax, but they're paying almost... Chris, I, where are you getting these numbers from? It might be 17% of the tax payers. It might be 17% of the people who file an income tax report, that although I funny, even yeah. that uh, it sounds surprisingly high to me. But they certainly don't... The top 10% of Americans... more members in Congress than there are billionaires in this country. It's, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you're, you're talking about there's all these billionaires running around. There's less billionaires than we have House of Representatives. There's, there's not that many people that are in the bracket you're talking about. No, there's not. You're expecting them to carry the country. I'm on not. I'm, I, I, what I'm saying, it's not just billionaires, Chris. You, 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 keep, you keep selectively slicing these people's pieces off. I'm, I'm, I'm frankly astonished that you're buying this stuff that Limbaugh, who you know has a $400 million contract, I don't to Rush Limbaugh. Is, is peddling. It's, it, this is not interest of you and your class a flat tax will decimate the working class in america and 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 it'll be a great boon to the people who are very wealthy you cut my taxes by 11 percent. i will do it, it would help we'll just put it that way it would help. no it wouldn't you have an employer chris i'm guessing right yeah for now okay so if your employer knows that starting january 1st of next year you're going to take home say an extra $15,000 a year because your taxes have gone down. What's your employer going to do? They already know that you're willing to work for 75000 minus taxes. You're willing to work for around 45000 take-home, okay? Now your take-home is going to go up to 55000 What's your employer going to do? They're going to cut your wages. I'm telling you, Chris, go back and look at the history of taxation in the United States. When taxes on the middle class go down, wages go down. It's it's uh, it, it, it's just you know that's the way it works. You're listening to Tom Hartman. Visit tomhartman.com for audio and video archives. Ask any conservative. It's called supply and demand. It's you you're not going to get that money, Chris. The the corporations are going to figure out a way to keep it.